Hi, I'm Dave Malinek. I'm running to serve the first congressional district as a national delegate. My wife and I moved to Utah in 1997. We love it here. We moved here to serve in a small Christian school, and in time, I became the pastor of a small Baptist church in Ogden. We've had the privilege of being involved in politics here. We've raised five children here. We are raising um, the last couple of them uh, at this time. Um, we love the values that define Utah. We stand with our state in those values that define the state of Utah. We love the majesty of the mountains, the friendliness of the people. We are so thankful that God moved us to Utah. Central to my life is the fear of God and the love of country. To me, the two go together. I don't try to separate them. I don't try to separate my religious views from my politics. My religious views define and inform my political views, and I don't know how to do anything else. And to be honest, when I see the way religion, politics has become a religion to so many people, I'm not apologizing for it at all. I believe that we need more of the fear of God in our politics. I think that uh, we've turned from that, we've strayed from that. As far as the National Convention goes, I think that it's very important that we stand against the cultural rot that is closing in on us, that is all around us. I'm opposed to socialism. I'm opposed to the progressive values. God hasn't changed. He hasn't changed his mind about marriage. He hasn't changed his mind about life about the value of the unborn, and I don't believe that we should either. In 2016, the 1st Congressional District elected me to serve as an alternate delegate. It was a privilege. I took my oldest son with me. We had a great time. It was such a great experience for us. But when I was elected, I ran on the Ted Cruz ticket. I was adamantly opposed to Donald Trump, and I did everything that I could as an alternate, and I, won, I supported doing everything we could to keep Donald Trump out of the White House. It was at the convention in 2016 that my mind began to change as I observed Mr. Trump, the way he carried himself, the things that he was saying, the program that he designed for that. The message that he was communicating, I was listening, I was watching that and recognizing that this was a man who, even though I struggled with his values, I struggled with who he was as a person, yet he was saying the things that I believed. I don't think he was just saying what I wanted to hear. He's not that kind of man. He was communicating to us what he intended to do as president. I appreciated that. And most importantly, I think he was saying things that I had wanted our Republican leadership to say for a long time. Slowly, my mind began to change. It's a long story how that happened, but I came, I mean, it was as late as September, October before I finally decided that I was going to vote for him, and I did. I'm so happy that I did. I appreciate the fact that Donald Trump has taken a stand and kept his word, kept his promises, and most of all, defends our way of life. I appreciate that so much. I want to see him reelected, and I want to see the best platform underneath of him as we can provide. But I also want to ensure that our Republican Party doesn't shift, that it doesn't change. We don't want to be the Democratic Party. We want to be the Republican Party. And so I would support, I would, I would appreciate your support for me as National de Delegate. Again, I'm Dave Malinak. Hi, I am Kerry Gibson, and I support Dave Malinak for National Delegate for the 1st Congressional District. Dave is a passionate defender of the Constitution and the values and principles that we hold dear. I can't think of anyone who will represent us more completely at the National Convention than Pastor Dave. He has my full and complete support.